In this video, I'm gonna make a simple but modern planter box for the front porch. And the material I'm using for this build is cedar, which is good for outdoors and it's insect resistance. After I determined the size box I wanted to build, I then cut the largest section from the lumber first, starting with the two sides and the bottom. The two short side would sit above the bottom but in between the two long side, so I removed the difference to keep the top at the same height. While lumber searching, I ended up looking for the prettiest board I could find versus the straightest board and definitely a mistake on my part and that kind of stopped me off on a bad foot to begin with. On top of that, I realized I did not have the right screws so I temporarily put these in while the glue dried and I went back later and then replaced them with the proper screws. I installed screws in key location to de-warp the board the best I could. I normally go through the pile of lumber to get the straightest board possible, but I'm not even sure what happened on this day. I wanted the box to have an elevated look, so I did not want it to sit directly on the ground, so what I ended up doing was making some feet out of some scrap cedar I had laying around. And I did manage to go out to the store that day and pick up some deck screws, which is what I was planning to use to build this box and I removed the existing screws and then installed these screws. And to hide the head of the screws I'm using a interior exterior wood filler which is paintable and stainable. The wood filler dries pretty fast so I was able to get right to work and start sanding. Take a brush or a rag to remove the sand dust prior to applying the paint. And I'm using a white latex interior exterior high gloss paint. And this should fit right in with the chair I built a few weeks ago. It's outside but it's not out in the weather so I shouldn't have to worry about maintenance as far as cleaning dirt off the white. At times, it is hard to visualize something without really seeing it, so sometimes you have to just set it up, take a step back, and see if that's the look you want. Once it is, then you can pull that trigger and move on to the next step. And to attach the feet, I'm using a interior exterior wood glue. Since I'm using a good amount of glue, I applied masking tape to hold the feet in place while I put weight on top of it. The reason behind this is to keep the wood from shifting. So now I'm adding two drain holes within the bottom of the box and I went about six inches in from each side. Weed barrier was added to prevent the soil from falling through the drain holes. Add garden soil to cover the entire bottom. Now it's time to add the plants and the one I'm using is white African iris. I really like to look at these plants. Something about them just scream modern to me. And unfortunately you can't have them inside the house because they require six hours of direct sunlight. I'm not sure how fast these grow but they can get up to three feet tall and four feet wide. And now that the plants are seeded, add enough soil to cover the entire bottom of the plant. Instead of cutting off the weed barrier, I decide to fold it over and add river rocks on top of it. I can't say I've done a project that something hasn't changed from the beginning to the end. These rocks was not a part of the design, but I think they actually make the design go over the top. And I love this look. This is another one of the viewers request and if you want to see your project come to life, you got to leave it down in the comment. You got to let me know that this is what you want to get built. And I can't promise you I will get to all of them, but I will get to a lot of them. And for now, guys, that is it. And I will catch you guys on the next one. So definitely hit that like button, that share button, the comments down below. Let me know what you think, guys, and I will catch you on the next one. I'm out.